Hello guys. So this year, Apple did some wonderful marketing for PWAs or progressive web apps by trying to make them uh, irrelevant and then going back uh, on that decision. So also, Alicia Rojas gave a wonderful talk uh, on Rails World Conference about making uh, Rails apps work offline by making them progressive web apps and uh, adding some settings to the service worker file. And also, DHH merged an important pull request to Rails that uh, adds a PWA manifest and service worker so that each new Rails app that you create is a progressive web app by default. Uh, now, what is a progressive web app? Let's see a couple of examples. So here, uh, Basecamp has launched Campfire, a chat app that uh, exists in the web version and it does not have uh, an actual app, but you can uh, still kind of install it. And if you go into the settings, you have this example, install Campfire as a web app. So I'm running uh, on macOS here and the uh, instructions are click file in the top left and uh, add to doc. And this would add uh, my app as a PWA. Let's try it not on localhost, but on real app like Super Rails that I already made a PWA. So here I uh, go here, I add to doc. It finds the logo, it finds uh, the name of the app, the short name of the app. And now it has added the app to uh, doc, here it is. I can launch it from the doc, I can launch it from the launchpad, here it is. And uh, also a real cool thing, on uh, Safari, uh, I also get this uh, open in web app when I open uh, the website, but I already have it installed uh, as an app. So let's uh, close this window, let's try again. I go to this page, I click on open, and uh, here the app opens in uh, a web app. So I can log in separately and uh, just use it as a web app. And here it is. I can also try doing the same in other browsers. For example, in Microsoft Edge, I would go to cprails.com, and uh, here you see I have this prompt, install cprails app. I will click it. I have uh, this prompt, I click on install, and here I have installed it as an Edge app. And uh, also I can try installing it as uh, a Chrome app, and actually Chrome has, uh, well, Edge also works on the same uh, engine, but basically Chrome has the best support for uh, progressive web apps. So here I will go, uh, I have this uh, icon, you see I have uh, also the description that I provided about the app, I have a screenshot, I can click on install, it will install as a Chrome app. And here it is. And in Chrome, I can actually even use the plugins. And uh, again, different browsers can provide you different uh, functions uh, on a PWA. For example, if I'm using a PWA uh, uh, from Safari, let's try opening it once again. So uh, I don't have all the default browser controls, but on uh, a PWA on uh, Chrome, I have, uh, well, different uh, right-click uh, actions. Um, and uh, also usually something that is considered a killer feature in PWAs is sending push notifications. So you know sometimes you visit some websites and you get this annoying pop-up, uh, subscribe to notifications. You would click it and it would open a native uh, browser uh, control to enable notifications. I can enable it or I can uh, block it. And if you don't make a decision or if you block, then this notification will not show again until you trigger it manually. But you can uh, enable sending push notifications from your web app to anybody who accepts this. And this is a really powerful feature and actually it is going to be added by default into Rails 8 because uh, they're planning to extract action notifier framework for push notifications. I think they're going to instruct it from once one that is campfire that uh, already has uh, all this so it has like a cool service worker that uh, can send this uh, push notifications if we try to explore um, campfire a bit we can go to the application tab again i'm using chrome here and uh, i will see so uh, yeah there are some errors but uh, the manifest has a name some uh, logos uh, shortcuts. This kind of shortcuts can be used only on Android devices, but uh, if we Google PWA shortcuts, it will give us uh, something like this. So you see, you can kind of uh, uh, press on uh, the logo and it will give you shortcuts to different actions. And this is really cool. 
so you can have shortcuts with different icons. You can have screenshots for the installation prompt. Now you see Campfi doesn't have uh, this set up correctly. Okay, uh, let's have a look at the manifest itself. So here's the manifest, uh, shortcuts, screenshots, icons, categories, uh, name of the app, and so on. And we can also try to have a look at the service worker. So uh, maybe I don't have the app run correctly, but uh, the service worker, yeah, this is what it gives us. Uh, unsupported grid to a supported web browser. Okay. Maybe I need to upgrade my Chrome or something to make this work. But yeah, this is actually also a feature of uh, Rails 8 that is going to come soon that uh, you can uh, save which browsers your app uh, supports. Anyway, going back, uh, Rails is planning to launch this action notifier framework to make it easier for you to have uh, push notifications by default. And uh, again, if you want to learn more about progressive web apps, MDN has the best docs. It has docs about how to add a web app manifest, how to add a service worker. Denimerka is my go-to man to uh, learn more about PWAs, and he has this wonderful uh, app, What PWA Can Do Today, where he explores all the possible features a PWA can do. You can install it as a PWA. Uh, it actually has also nice prompts depending on the OS that you're using. So here I'm using the uh, Mac, so he says click share, add doc. It usually users need this kind of onboarding because there is no straightforward way on uh, Macs to uh, add apps uh, as PWAs. And you can see all different features a PWA can do. Um, okay, this is it for this uh, episode. And in the next episode, we are going to explore how to turn an app into a PWA by adding a manifest. So see you in the next one.